tons of these artisan pens. I got so lucky. I watched somebody do a Hobby Lobby uh, haul, and um, um, they told me that they had these for a dollar each. I was like, what? So I went to my Hobby Lobby. They clearanced them for a dollar each. And my husband, he, that's all he likes to do with his artwork is use these kind of pens. So they had like 75. I bought them all. And I wasn't going to buy all 75. I was talking about like 50 of them. And the guy goes, just get them all. <laughs> he was the manager. He knows me. He knows me. I'm, I'm in there all the time. He goes, you know, you want them all. <laughs> I go, I do want them all. He goes, get them. They're only a dollar. So I bought them all. Okay, we're going to do little um, cr just crosses. I love a cross. And I'm doing this in, oh wait, I wanted to do this in the black ink. Black paint pen. Sorry. He was funny. He goes, girl, you know you want them all? <laughs> I said, you know me well. He goes, you're in here all the time. You always clean up on those clearances. <laughs> I said, you're paying attention? He goes, yeah, I know who's in here. I'm like, oh. I go, okay, I'll take them all. He goes, good. He goes, I need to get rid of those off my shelves. I needed someone like you to come in here and just clear the shelf. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Okay, so now we just did crosses. Maybe I should do some in the middle. Yeah, a little bit off to the side or something. Okay. Okay, in brown, I'm going to do... What shit, What one am I going to do? You guys, once you start making marks, if you haven't done this in your work, you'll love it. You'll love the way it looks, and it's just fun. It's fun to make marks. I'm going to make that, like, H. Just right here. Make it like that. Like, once you start making these marks, <laughs> you get, like, addicted. You can't stop. It's fun. But I was one of those people um, in the olden days when we had a house phone when I was a kid. And uh, I'd be talking to my friends. And just sitting there with a pen, just doodling. Happy as I could be, talking to my friend, doodling. Okay. So, I can mark make all day long, but we also would have a page full of mark, mark making, so I probably need to stop. Okay, so I'm done with that. You know, one other thing I think I might do. I'm going to take, oh no, I don't want to take this. I almost took my white jelly pen. I probably ruined it. I do have a white marker, artisan white marker, a mutt marker, paint pen. I do want to make some like little like shooting, like little um, medium sized stars like this. Make sure you guys are seeing that. Yeah. So especially like in any dark areas. So let's just make a few little stars. I make a little dot and then I just throw out three little lines. Instead of four, five, four lines there even, I do them so it looks like a, to me that's what more of a star looks like. It's not going to look perfect, right? So, like that. Let's do a couple shooting stars. Make a dot and go out. Make a dot and go out. And the reason I go out like that and go, you fling my hand, because to me that's more naturally how a shooting star would look. <laughs> even though there wouldn't really be shooting stars in an art journal page. <laughs> Whatever. This is your world. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So that's cool. I'm going to put a few over here on this page. I don't know if you're seeing this page or not. I don't think it's in focus. I'm just on my other page over here making little shooting stars. Okay. Yep. And my white paint pen is fine. See, this... These work right over acrylic paint that just dried with the blow dryer. These are fabulous. I am in love with these artisan paint pens. Um, this is one of the best deals. I can't believe I got this deal. You know, they had um, alcohol markers for $2. They had the, what's the name brand ones that everybody likes? I can't think of the name brand, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't have a whole lot. I have another brand, 
But anyway, they were two bucks a piece, and I was almost going to... I did go to look for them, and I didn't know if I was going to buy a lot or not, because I really don't use alcohol markers that much. Um, I use most, more paint pens, but... Anyway, those are two things to look at at Hobby Lobby. If you see these artisans and they're clearancing them out for a dollar, pick them up. If they have the alcohol markers and you like alcohol markers for $2 a piece, pick those up. These for a dollar, that was ridiculous. Okay. Um, okay, so we have all this. This looks good. Now, let's do some... Let's do some masking. And I'm trying to think of where I want to mask at. Just a second. Let me look and see. Do I want to mask here or do I want to mask over here? I feel like I want to mask over here. Okay, so we're going to do the masking over here. Okay. So, let me get my ac black acrylic paint. Oh, let me also come back out with the camera a little bit so you can, so you can see. Okay. My little sponges, wait. I need a paint sponge. Okay, so to mask, this is how you mask. You take the um, the masking, and a lot of times what they don't do is they don't give you the innards of things like this. Um, but if you can, draw yourself, I just did this on cardstock, draw yourself a little shape like this. Okay? I haven't put anything in my Etsy shop in a while. Um, if there's enough people who tell me that they actually would like this drawing, I can um, put it in my Etsy shop and then you can cut it out. You can copy it on a piece of cardstock and then cut it out. And when you cut it out, cut it out from like down at the bottom and then um, cut it out, end up back at the bottom and then you can just tape it back and then that will be your, um, your mask. And does it need to be perfect? No. Look at the shape. My shape isn't perfect. Is this a perfect shape? No. So you don't have to worry about cutting it out perfectly. Because I know people, they'll stress about that. They're like, well, I'm not cutting it out perfect. You do not have to cut it out perfect. When I drew it, I didn't worry about drawing it perfectly. I let my hand just flow when I drew her. When I drew this little, when I drew this goddess. If you like the um, meaning of the goddess... It resonated with me, so. And that's what I say about anything like this, spiritual or anything. Go with what resonates with you. I, I don't think there's any wrong or right answer. It's what works for you, what works for how you think in your life. And this works for me, so. Plus, I was drawing her, and I didn't even know I was drawing her. <laughs> so there was something inside of me that um, had me drawing her. Okay, so we're going to take her off. Now look what we're left with. Isn't that cool? Okay, we don't... Oh, one other thing. Let's put this aside. We're going to do way more with that. We're going to blend her out. But let's take... This is what I wanted to show you guys. Take your mask, kind of... Put paint all on the top of it like this okay maybe wipe that off because I'm gonna put my book there next okay get you, oh take some water wet it take your book your extra book your extra page remember how I created that like little goddess right there that looks like um like a ghost image and you just turn it upside down and use it like a, like it's a stamp. And the whole thing won't appear, just some of it will. Look how cool that is. Isn't that cool? 
so it just leaves like a little ghosty image and this one wasn't even as ghosted as that one was that was even a little bit thicker but look how cool it still looks so look we almost have a page here you know you could add some stamps here you could add a meaning here you could add a little framing i mean this is almost done right there okay let's go back here um oh okay so what we're doing here is we need to come back over here and i want to just really blacken this out a little bit more going around so sometimes i add an extra layer of black and then we're going to blend that black out like smear it out a little bit so that there's not that harsh line there but go back over that black edge again staying away from your image okay then i like to take a baby wipe and smoke that out a little bit sometimes it wipes off so if it's wiping off maybe use this yeah is this gonna work all right i'm not accomplishing what i want to accomplish what i want is it, oh it's blending out i'm seeing it now i just want it to blend out a little bit just take a paper towel if your my baby wipe is too wet that's the problem i believe so just take this and just there we go that's what the problem was the baby wipe was so wet that it was just it wasn't like smoking this out the line it was actually wiping it off because it was so wet so i'm just wetting this paper towel a little bit and bring that paint out just a little bit so that you don't have that severe line and you smoke it out so it blends out a little bit so you're trying to smoke that line out and blend it out and i'll come up close so you guys can see that here in just a second i don't like any harsh lines like that looks a lot more natural if you smoke it out smoke it out <laughs> okay i got all these paper towels everywhere just a second you guys let me get a um baby wipe and wipe my hands off also i don't i'm i'm not gonna i'm just gonna wipe up this black paint i'd rather not put this black paint in my journal right now because i don't want to add to my pages this black so we're just gonna wipe it off and let me just take this off here so i can wipe off everything so we have a nice clean palette to work with oh i love this i love being able to wipe this off oh okay big my big tip of the day go to hsn online hsn.com easy pay you guys you can buy if you can put on a credit card or um i think it's a credit card or your checking account two or three dollars a month and you can have this glass plate it's 20 bucks you can pay the whole thing if you want at one time whatever but this thing is ugh, I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. Okay, so let me show you this ghostly figure. Um, it's not a ghostly figure. <gasps> the goddess. Look how cool she looks. Doesn't that look so cool? Let me reject this phone call. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to put on airplane mode. Isn't that fabulous? Oh. I think that's just gorgeous look how like what the background appears to her it makes her look so magical what she is and then what's in here is on the outside of there isn't that cool i think that's so pretty um now what we'll do once this dries i'll take my jelly pen and we'll outline her so she appears more and then um on this side i will do my messy writing you could do your messy writing on this side too but i kind of like it just on this darker side so we'll do her just like we did this one okay um now let's take this um let's take the stencil part of her so i'm gonna put the mask away and let's get the stencil out that i made of her and like i said if i get enough people who say they want my drawing of this goddess um let me know and i will put it in the etsy shop 
and it'll be cheap, you guys. It'll be like a, maybe a dollar, like dollar fifty, two bucks. Oh, excuse me, somewhere in there. It'll probably be like two bucks. Okay, so here is the stencil of her, I believe. And she's sure maybe this is the one because it sure is longer. Just a second while I figure things out, people. Yeah, this is her here. Okay. This is another goddess I drew here. This one here. But, okay, so here she is here. And let me see where I want to put her. I think I want her right in the middle. Yeah, we're going to put her right in the middle. And we're going to do black all throughout that middle part. Oh, why did I clean up my black paint yet? Oh, I hate when I do things like that. I still needed the black sponge and I still needed the black paint. <sighs> Sometimes I'm so eager to clean up right away. It's the mother in me. Do you guys do that too? I cook and clean, cook and clean. I clean as I cook. I think it's a mother thing. You already know that you have enough to clean. You don't need another mess. So you need to, you know, clean up as you go along. <laughs> and the reason I'm always cleaning up my paint as I go along, I can't stand like just dipping my hand in some paint that's just sitting there or dragging my book through it. Um, so that's why I kind of like to clean up as I go along. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that cool? I uh, love this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let me come out just a little bit more so you guys can see her. See both pages? That looks so cool. I love it. Um, I want to blacken her out a little bit more. So I'm going to let me get a little more black paint on there. I'm just going to just sponge in a little, staying away from the edges too much because I don't want to ruin my goddess here. Um, there we go. There we go. Love it. All right, now we're gonna clean up this black paint again. <laughs> Jeez. I'll probably need it again <laughs> after I'm already cleaning it up. All right, so we need to let that dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let her dry because I will outline her with this um i will outline her with this um pen to bring her out just like we did here on this one um and then with my messy writing i'll totally write in her all the messy writing that i want to do um the other thing i might do is i might do my um writing that i learned um her i forgot her name but her name is below i have a link to her also um, it's not name or yeah, it's not name. It's another lady and I forgot her name, but, um, her link is below. So click on both the links I have below. Um, and she taught me how to do, um, intuitive writing. So I may do intuitive writing on her once this dries, or we may do, um, we may do the messy writing. I'm trying to think if I want to do the messy writing, if I want to do the intuitive writing on her. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I want to do the intuitive writing. But I usually do the intuitive writing in um, black ink, but she's black. So I'd have to do it with white paint. And I'm trying to think how I think that would look. But you know what? I might as well do it. I can do it right now with you guys. And then um, if we don't like it, I can just, you know, paint over it with black again. No major. So, you know what? Let's go for it. I 
I always tell you guys not to fret. Why am I fretting? Just do it. Especially if you can correct your mistake. And you pretty much in mixed media can always correct your mistake. But I can easily correct it by just, um, if I don't like it, by just um, painting it black again. So, let me see the size brush I want to use. Let me make sure you guys are still here. You still are. Okay, so we're at 53 minutes. So we got about eight minutes before this turns off. So let's do some intuitive writing on here in the white. I'm trying to see what brush I want to use. Here we go. So I'm going to use this brush right here. I normally use this brush, but we have a pretty small area. So this is what I'm thinking. So we'll just see. And that's probably my problem right now, that I'm thinking too much. So intuitive writing is just making shapes, basically, that come to you, okay? Okay, I'm loving it. Yeah, I like it. And the reason, this is how I started intuitive writing is um, I the lady I learned about from it, I learned about it from, she, her link is below, like I said, um, I thought of just the regular alphabet, like let's do an F, but make the F something different. Like there's an like a backwards F and then put two lines through it. Um, do a W, but don't connect the lines. Um, uh, do a backward S. Um, do a backwards L and put a line through it, put a couple lines through it. And that's how I started my intuitive writing. Um, here's the backwards E and then I put a line through it. Here's a J, but I didn't really make the J part. I just made it go down and put two lines through it. So you guys get the point of what I'm saying. Um, here's an H, but I made the lines not really match up together, right? One's longer, one's shorter, and then I put a line through it that went down. Okay. There we go. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to do up here. I'm going to do a star for a head. This kind of star. Sorry, I'm getting quiet, you guys, for just a second. I'm focusing. There we go. <gasps> Look how cool that looks. <gasps> I love that. It just came to me to put that star on her head. Absolutely love this. Is that paint? Okay. Absolutely love this. I can't wait to take my white paint, my white jelly roll pen and, and go around her so she comes out, you know? All right, let me look and see what the time situation is. Okay. Um, we are up with the time. Um, it's about to, um, the video is about to just start a third one, which we don't want to start a third one yet. So when we come back, let me just talk about what we've done. When we come back, um, we will outline both of our goddesses with the jelly roll pen. I will do my messing writing in here. We will add on this pocket. Okay. Over here, we'll add on this pocket and then we'll, um, We'll have some tags that I've already pre-made, and then we'll make some tags to go in this pocket, okay? So we have our art journal, and then we'll have our junk. And we might have some more junk that we may add in here with a, with a really cool paper clips, some paper clip stuff I'll show you, and some little, anyway, and put those on the pages, so.
Okay, you guys, that is it for this one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, that'd be great. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And you guys, um, get your... Um, remember, I'm using a... Um, I showed this in the first video. I'm using a um, traveler's notebook. And this is just an insert in the traveler's notebook. So take one of your traveler's notebooks, um, fold up some um, cardstock or mixed media paper, and join me. And um, make yourself a little insert to put into your um, into your traveler's notebook. And I think it would be a really fun little project to have. So you can have like a little traveler's notebook with inserts that you can art journal and junk journal. Mixing the two. My fave. Mixing art journaling and junk journaling. Okay, you guys, that is it for this one. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.